Oh yes. By the way, what's your favorite part of Christmas? My favorite part? Yeah. Huh. My favorite part. Before coming to Japan as a university student, my favorite part was, you know, having a break during that Christmas period. Oh, I see. <laughs> having a break during that Christmas period to like prepare yourself for the new year、mm. or like. Finally, let out all the work-related things or school-related <laughs> things, and have just basically having fun,、mm. and like going back to your own roots, and you know, having that sense of home is、uh, what I really think about Christmas. I see. Because I, I when you say Christmas, I immediately think of Filipino Christmas.、Mm. So, oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you also mentioned sense of home, and yeah, I guess that's very important for everyone. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, did uh, do you also celebrate Christmas with like Japanese friends here? Maybe you. Know、um, yeah, I have, but not formally. Like we've had Christmas parties where we dress up with red and、oh, green、yeah. and just eat. At someone's house,、mm. but that's a, I've never actually spent the Christmas Eve or Christmas Day with them. It was always、oh, okay. either before or after. It's quite fun, and you know the gift giving tradition is always there as well. Ah, I see, I see. So, yeah, yeah.、Uh, my friend also usually hold a Christmas party every year, and yeah, I think circles and clubs at Uh, our campuses also,、uh, many of them do the same thing, but I guess only a percentage, yeah, only a small number of them are、uh, like Christians. Many, many others are just are just come for the fun, for having the fun. The food.、Part. Yeah, for the, the food. The food and the gifts. <laughs> food and beer,、yeah. and maybe also sometimes、uh, the gift exchange. Yeah, I. A friend, a Japanese friend of mine, yeah, he's not Christian.、Uh, he said to me like that、uh, Japanese people are, well, in principle, basically religious. So even though、mm-hmm. they join Christmas events,、uh, they just do it for fun, for the fun part. So basically, they they don't take the religious part. They just take the fun part. So maybe all the thing that The only thing that they know about、uh, Christmas is that it is the birthday of Jesus Christ, and that's all. So basically, Japanese people are just doing it for fun. Japanese people love to have fun, I guess. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That, I mean, most people know that it's a very Catholic thing、hmm? or a Christian thing, the Christmas itself. But I don't think they think about religion. Or think about that it's actually believed to be uh the the, the day Jesus was born、mm. while they're celebrating it. So their values and their purpose on what they do during Christmas is very different to what my values and the way what why I celebrate Christmas. It's、mm. quite different. So celebrating with them is 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 quite interesting. Like.、Mm. Sharing my values and what I actually think about Christmas, very interesting. I see, I see. For Japanese people, for most Japanese people, it's like just、uh, a fun gathering. But for you, it's like、mm-hmm. a very spiritual event,、mm-hmm. a very spiritual time. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm not really familiar with、uh, Christianity, but、uh, the things that I know is like、uh, Catholics、uh, celebrate Christmas, and for protest. Protestantism. Some some schools in Protestantism celebrate it, but some others do not celebrate Christmas on December twenty fifth. I I heard they have another date for celebrating Christmas. And、uh, can you tell me what do you usually、uh, do in Christmas? Like the ritual parts? Do you go to church on December twenty fourth or twenty fifth or something else? Yeah. Can you educate me?、Mm-hmm. Well, start with the twenty fourth is okay. usually 
we celebrate. Mm. It's called the Noche Buena. It's like the last meal. Oh, and okay, okay. Twenty fourth, you celebrate with your family, and you usually eat quite late, and then you go to church on the twenty fourth. Hmm. Okay. With your family, for sure. Oh, okay.、Mm-hmm. And then on the next day, on the twenty fifth, is where you celebrate again and go to church. So you go to church on both twenty fourth and twenty fifth. So twice. Twice. I see. And the thing is,、uh, in Japan, uh, either neither twenty fourth or twenty fifth is uh, like uh, public holidays. So how do you cope with this? Um. Well, the church that I usually go to, they only serve at least one. Like, especially now during the pandemic, they they limit their the the people allowed per mass. Okay. So we either go on the twenty fourth or the twenty fifth、mm-hmm. at around at evening. Usually in the Philippines, it's at, at like midnight, like during one a.m. and stuff like that. Okay. But But here in Japan, the church I go to, it's usually at seven p.m., eight p.m. that at night. And、um, recently,、mm-hmm. um, mentioned a while ago how the Filipinos go to church at midnight. Yes. For, start, every day, starting from December,、mm-hmm. like December first. First,、um, recently, my church started incorporating that、um, mm-hmm. tradition, and they have it every night. Already, but since、um, there is a limit on the people that can go to that mass, okay, you don't, you can't, I can't, I haven't been going that much. I、yeah. see, I see, Narod. Hmm. So that's for the Corona time. Hmm. And how about the before Corona time? Before When... Corona time, it was last year. Yeah, maybe last year for example. But... Could you go to church because last year twenty fifth was Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I remember having class on that day. Yeah, me too. So, I think I went to church at after after class、oh. like after school, yeah.、Mm-hmm. And then just had a small dinner with my family after、ah, that. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So you can still go to church in the evening. Even if you have classes on the morning or afternoon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, do you, do you sometimes consider to like to take to be absent from classes the whole day? I think some senses. Yeah, I think many、mm-hmm. senses are actually quite、uh, flexible with that. Yeah. So before Christmas, they say, well, in Japan, Christmas is not a holiday, but I understand that. Some of you might be Christians, and you need to take a leave. So I'm okay with that. Yeah, I remember I had series of classes on that day.、Mm-hmm. Some teachers didn't have class, and others did. Yes. And I think it was because it was during like test the like the testing period days. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I remember taking a test on Christmas Day. I see. Yeah. And how how did it feel like? I it was obviously very sad,、mm. and it didn't feel like Christmas at all because, you know, Christmas the break is what I always <laughs> think about. <laughs> But yeah, it, it was alright. At the end, like I was able, to, I was still able to、um, go to church and then. You know, eat dinner with my family. So there's still the sense of Christmassy vibes、oh, there. That's Yukata. Hmm, Yukata, Yukata. Yeah, I just think that. But if I were, oh yeah, sorry. Oh, oh go sorry. Wait. So, but like, if I'm able to not go to school, I wouldn't、mm. go to school. I see. Yeah. Yeah. I I also think the same way. Maybe if you can just yeah. As for permissions to be absent the whole days, yeah, maybe it will be more relaxing to you. So yeah, maybe next year you can do it. Hope so. Yeah, yeah. For me, in my case, yeah. Uh, 
for example during the fasting months we call it ramadan yeah uh, during the end of the months we had a special uh, special prayer special ritual it was held in the morning before the classes so we did not uh, did not need to ask for permission from classes yeah so the yeah we have a mosque in sfc ko sfc and the first oh. and first period in sfc begin in 9:25 and then mm -hmm. we did the prayer at 8 am so yeah there was no need to ask for permission to be absent from classes i guess but if there is really need yeah i think our senses are flexible yeah, if you are have religious duties yeah uh feel free to do it as long as you inform me beforehand i mean I, the ones that made me have class on christmas they were usually the japanese teachers yeah 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 but like the foreigners they were more flexible about yeah. it i see so uh, there was one time i remember the my japanese teacher was like christmas no hini Oh, wow. I see. Yeah. Is that yeah. a class conducted in Japanese? It was in Japanese, yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, you speak Japanese, right? A bit. <laughs> At least yeah. better than my Japanese. Oh, no, no. Yes. So, so far, I only take classes conducted in English. Well, uh, most of the senseis are like Japanese and actually I just, yeah, there's only one Japanese sensei that said, please come on Christmas day, but the others are like pretty flexible. Yeah, they said, well, if you can come, yeah, please come. But if you cannot, yeah, we understand it. Yeah, maybe they are more experienced with foreigners. That's why mm. they're more flexible. But maybe this time, because it is still a corona time, uh, you can do both your uh, school works and Christmas quite flexibly, more flexible. I, I guess, uh, yeah. Yeah, Christmas preparation while I'm doing work. It's quite fun. <laughs> okay, I hope so. Uh, do you take any F offline classes or are your classes are on, are all online? Uh, all of my classes are online, mm -hmm. but I have one class where I have to go to SFC. I have to go to campus at least once a month for the oh. class. It was for a Kenkyukai, yeah. Oh, Kenkyukai. I see, I see. Narodo. Kenkyukai. We meet once a month. Tascani, Tascani. Narodo. You can kick it on just day if I'm not mistaken, right? Sorry, what? You can kick it on just day, Mokuyobi. Yeah, yeah, third and fourth period. So you need to come on twenty fourth because twenty fourth is just day. He's a very flexible teacher, so oh. also okay. like, yeah. And on Friday you have classes. No, I don't have any classes on Friday. But okay. I do have like a job, like baito, aru baito. Oh yeah. <laughs> Regarding baito, yeah, I guess most uh, most places in Japan, yeah, require you to come, even during Christmas. Yeah, yeah. But you ask for permission to be absent. Yeah, but. On the twenty fifth, I think I don't. I, I I didn't put anything in. So, ah, oh, I see. Yeah, just for Christmas and family. <laughs> nice. I don't know. I don't know. Do you usually work in uh, during Christmas on December twenty fifth, like last year? As last year. Last year, no. I last year I didn't work, so yeah, I didn't. Okay. Prioritize Christmas. <laughs> and school and family hello <laughs> hello yeah okay thank you very much riona -san. yeah it was a very interesting conversation yeah i hope oh, we can yeah. continue this very interesting yeah
yeah. I've been okay. talking about Christmas a long time. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to your wonderful photos. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Send you lots of photos of food. I'm looking forward to them. <laughs> I love food. Okay, and yeah, maybe this is a bit early, but Merry Christmas, Kyunasan. I hope you Merry have Christmas. a wonderful Christmas this year. Thank you. You too. Thank you. And Minasan, hey, yes. So that was our interview with uh, Ryunasan. Ya itu tadi dia, itu, itu dia tadi wawancara kita dengan Ryunasan. Jadi intinya Jepang adalah negara yang uh, religius. Tidak ada hari libur keagamaan di sini dan suasana Natal di Jepang seperti yang Ryunasan uh, ceritakan tadi itu berbeda dengan di negara-negara lain termasuk Filipina dan negara kita Indonesia. Jadi kalau mau tinggal di Jepang ya uh, sar- disarankan untuk mengkomunikasikan baik-baik tentang izin libur hari raya jika diperlukan kepada atasan kita di sekolah atau di kantor. Hai. Ya, coba. Matane, Nasan. Hai. Matane.